In this video I'm gonna uh, teach you how to remove Korean apps and signs in a Dialpa app. Firstly you need to root your device. This is running on Lollipop version. This is F240L. And this will work with the F240 series. As you can see, it's a model number. Uh, for the sake, I have already removed the Korean apps or the bloat where using this tool, Kingrod. I installed this Kingrod first. You can download it. The version is the version is 4.8 download it and install and root your device after rooting your device you open the app and click and install those tools you can see all the bloatware here and you need to click here click here and click and install apps you can oh my god I didn't intend to uninstall that one but anyway after that you need to root ah oh, I mean it's already rooted so after your device has been rooted you download this build prop editor from, from play store build prop editor you can download here build prop editor <laughs> okay so um, I already installed apps so um, there's say is update but I will not update after you download that, that app you need to open the app firstly you can see that my dial pad is in Korean language you can see there so you're gonna open the app build prop editor you can also use root browser but it this one is easier just click the build prop and then grant that as a root user and then you can scroll over the build information build information and you're gonna look for the here ro build dot target country you're gonna change this one no uh, this one kr2 us save click save and then you just hit this three dots over here and reboot so you're gonna wait the device to de reboot and let's see what happens So first you can install the King Road 4.8 AP key. You can download in the Google and then after install installing the device you need to click root. After that you you can install the bloatware apps or the Korean apps from the system and after that to remove the Korean language in the dial pad in the download the build prop editor from play store or you can edit the build prop in the using browser root browser but the build prop editor is much easier so let's see if the device change so as you can see now it's totally English there's no Korean language there so I think it works and this phone is running lollipop you can also use these tricks in KitKat so you, you don't need to install any rooms or any recovery you just need to change the build prop editor and also you can um, 
use build proprietor into changing the amount of uh, SMS but for this long version is already expanded so thank you for watching have a nice day